Well, hello everybody. I'm very excited because we have a double launch with an extremely talented guy. Allow me to introduce you to a man who needs no introduction. It's John next door. How hello. are you doing, John? I'm not bad. How are you? I'm very well, mate. This no. is quite good. We, we haven't done a, a launch for months, have we, I together? I was saying this. I, I genuinely enjoy our hours together. I do. So we're going to have fun for these two hours and we're going to want lots of interaction. So please get in touch. Uh, okay, so we've got something now. The thing with John, and this is what I genuinely love about you, you're a crafter, and I know yeah. I say this every time we work together, but John approaches, so when he comes with a one day special and a launch, he do, you don't just pack the counter full of hundreds and hundreds of items. No. You say, this is a call, because you understand as a crafter, look, this is, as a, for a manageable for this month, it's a great one-day special, it's affordable, but you always give us something a little bit different as well. Well, I, that's what I try to do. I think what we try and do with the John Next Door brand is yeah. it needs to be different, it needs to be innovative, and it needs to be good value. Perfect. That's what we're trying to look for. And yeah. sometimes, as with this, the main card on this, the slide card, mm. it's not, we're not reinventing the wheel. Yeah. It's not something that you may have seen this before, or you may not. Mm -hmm. I got gifted a card made like this last Christmas and yeah. thought, that would make a wonderful die. Tried to find out who'd done it, yeah. couldn't, uh -huh. and thought, I'll make I'll it into it. a die because I, I, as a crafter, mm -hmm. I don't want to spend two hours making a base card to then decorate it. We'll show you I want to spend 10 minutes. I to I, look, I totally agree with you. And the thing is, I've seen this concept, similar concepts being mm. made, but the, what really flummoxes me is the mathematics with it. So, look, you've got a beautiful card, but there is a hidden secret. So, if I just do that, you can see. That's the happy birthday uh, coming through. There's another one. I mean, just keep on. Oh, okay, this yeah. is nice. I mean, this, okay. is, this is one where the, I think this is the first one I made. Yeah. I'll move oh. it along. Oh, oh there, get you it go. Wrong. there you go. Yeah, but the idea is you've got a hidden message. So in there on the front, it says, Love to you then, love you still, always have and always will. Uh -huh. When you open the card, in goes happy oh. birthday. So it's like a little secret hidden message slide coming card. through. I love this. Oh, what about this one? So it's kind of like a, a, a never ending card. Ba -ba. Now that to me, you give that to somebody. But the real key to this, and this isn't, this is just part of the one day special. It's the fact that all the measurement, all the hard work, all the hassles being taken out. You run it through your die cutting machine, and you create the essence. And then obviously, then you go to town. Um, you do. Decorating yeah, we, we spend hours decorating these cards. So I don't think we should be spending two hours making it with measurements and folding and everything. But like that, you've got the B on the front. When you open it, there's your oh. little message. Sort of like a hidden message, Today that could be a birth. photo. You could even have a gift voucher on that, so it says happy birthday on the front. Oh, when you open nice. it, there's the gift voucher popping out for that's you to see. Nice. There's lots of things you can do with yeah. it. Again, I love this one from Maxine. And what she's done here is, she's put my bird cage in, because if you mm -hmm. notice, it matches with what I've done before. Yeah. So it's the same size as my bird cage die, but when you open it, bird cage on the front, the little bird disappears, and there's your little message. Is that something and beautiful card, I should say. Is that something that you're conscious of whenever you're designing to make sure that it sort of backtracks yes. and it will also be future-proof? It has to be. It's like this was the mm. launch we did on New Year's Eve of the Dragonfly. You can see there that fits perfectly on the card yeah. because it's designed. I design everything because, because I draw them, yeah. because I put them together, because I design them. I know what I've done before. I know what I've got coming. I know my measurements. Mm. I know my oval. I uh -huh. know my circle, I know my shapes, yeah. so I'm doing it all the time. It's not a, a graphic designer's coming in and what about this, what about this, John? Yeah. But we've got these, the idea is you've got that, but then in the bundle we've got the sentiments coming through. And, and then really all of the flowers as well, we, we haven't even got well, to those yet. Absolutely. We're just going to tell you, we will be looking in more detail to our showstopper, our star card, but uh, our star die, I should say. But go through everything that we're getting part of the One Day Special. Right, so what I want to do is put it together, everything that you would need mm. to sort of do the card and decorate and everything. So we start with, this is my brand new flower launching tonight, so this hasn't been seen anywhere. Oh. This is called Blossom, Beautiful. and this is my idea of doing a single stamp, uh -huh. so you can see that's one stamp with the corners. And we've got the, the corners are really important, that reference. Yeah, then you have one single die, which again has the corners missing on it. So what you can see is, if I drop that in, you line that up corner to corner, if you get it the right way round, which I never do, and it cuts out all of them in one pass. Damn. And what you're actually getting with this one, which I've never done before, uh -huh. you're actually getting 11 flowers from this. Oh, wow. So this A6, 186 piece of card, because it's A6 size, mm -hmm. will give you stamped and die cut 11 flowers in one. 
and it's brand new flower. You've never brought this before. What flower have you uh, what titled I called this, this blossom because it's okay. not any specific flower. Okay. I wanted something where you can see you've got some little tiny ones. And again, you can see this card oh, here, what? I think, by Leslie. So She's used ones? the little tiny ones almost like cherry blossom. But you're getting those as well as getting the massive ones like here. So you're getting a lot in there. And the idea was you can make it into lots of flowers. Here we've got where it's been made in sort of a peony by Jodie. There's oh, one behind, nice. which is Yanis's hat. We called this oh, Yanis's uh, hat when I got it <laughs> picked up last night, where she's made a rose with I it. Say where I wore it. You've got this one where Ange has made Go on, sorry. a fuchsia with it. Oh, that's nice. Or you've got the one where she's made almost clever? another version of a, sort of more of an open hellebore with wow. it. Something like that. You've got this one, I think, which is Leslie where she's made that. So you've got a lot of different options Ooh. of flower with it stamped. Again, you've got all that detail in there and all that colour. We got it. I'm going to continue on. So you're getting so the flowers, you're getting, you're getting the, the dyes, flower. you're getting uh, our slider die. Got to tell you, even before we continue now, we are extremely busy. We always are. <laughs> oh, stop it. We're six minutes into the show. Yeah. Five percent, considering this is, you always bring a lot of stock, would be good, yeah. right? 10% would be pushing it. Yes, it would at this time of day. <laughs> We're at 15% wow. of the stock. Okay. 15, and we Sorry. haven't even told you. Let's continue with the stamps as so, well. So, you're also getting the sentiments. Now, these are yeah. some of the largest sentiments I've done. What I've done is you can see this is the stamps. Uh -huh. And I have to thank Maxine, because Maxine gave me most of these sentiments. And That's I always say great. to people, if the sentiments you want to see, let me know. Yeah. Because I'm always desperately looking for them. Isn't that but nice? But this is them actually stamped. So this isn't a print. Yeah. So I, haven't I haven't expanded this on my computer to make it look any bigger. Yeah. This is what they look like, because I believe when you look at the A6 stamp set, they look small. Yeah. When you see them physically stamped, you see they're actually a lot bigger than they appear. And incredibly usable. Yeah. And the idea is these will cover... Oh. If, if you've never got sentiment stamps before, you've never mm. crafted really, you yeah. know, the, you're starting out. And this, I always try and think of when I was starting out yeah. and the immense amount of money I spent on one kit. The sentiments will give you what you need because you've got best wishes in there. You've got make a wish. You've got your happy birthday in there. You've yeah. also got your with love. So it will cover all your basic requirements. I, th I have to say, the sentiments, when you couple them up with obviously the fascination of that slider die, but having a look, just going back to the sentiments, oh Jimmy, I'm sorry buddy, I'm being, I'm directing from the floor, shouldn't do this, but if you have a look at this, love you then, I loved you then, love you still, always have and always will. That is such a nice sentiment it to is, put onto a card. It's beautiful and I think you can use it for lots and lots of different occasions and that was the idea. And what I wanted with this set was you could have things like make a wish on the front, but then when you open it, you've got that more detailed poem that you would perhaps have as an insert. Because this, nice. of course, gets rid of the need for inserts. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't need it with this. And again, they're completely flat to post. This is, I'll give you another example where having that verse, being able to go, and it is more like a verse, you know, yeah. with the sentiments. So here, with love, but as we open up, this is such a great card. Then you suddenly can add more depth and meaning to the card and the inspiration. Yeah. I think so that's you can beautiful. add in what you want. And that's what I wanted. I wanted people to be able to say, you know, to have once I like to have one set of sentiments out. Yeah. Um, and I like them to be able to answer nearly everything I've got to do. So again, happy birthday. And then I don't think that is one of the ones from this set. So Leslie's used one of her own in there. Oh, but that's okay. the idea is you can, and that's yeah. what I try and encourage people. I've got to say thank you to the angels for the sample. Mm. But one of the things that I say to them is what I think we do at home. Yeah. I don't ever ask any of the girls that help me out to stick to only using John Next Door or Craft Street products. I tell them to use what they've got. Brilliant. Because isn't that what we've got at home? Of course. That's, and that's really important, yeah. that they I, will play yeah. with other... And other this is a products. great thing. The, this die was designed to work, and we, when we get into it, if I actually hold this one up, yeah. sorry. Oh, no, it's because you could actually... I'm, I this done is this. the die. It gives you an idea of what you're getting. So this is what you're actually getting. Yeah. So this is the large die. So you're getting the two pieces that you need. Uh -huh to actually make you the slider so card. That's sort of your foundation. But then I've included in five different apertures as well. So you've got three nesting hexagons mm -hmm. and two nesting circles. So it gets you started. But of course, as we can see, you can then, you can bring in, and I've lost it there, someone. But again, Leslie's used um, a square, a rectangle from her sets. 
So you can use anything you've got at home, and that's what I want people to yeah. do. So this gives you your start. You don't need any uh -huh. more, but if you've got more, you can take it off in a different direction. Mm. And I will, when we demo, explain what this silly little metal piece is here. Oh, I'm intrigued. We are going to get to demonstration right now. 20% of the one-day special has gone in 10 minutes of the launch show. This is a double hour. Uh, I'm a little bit worried, actually, because we're on for two hours. Whether yeah. we've still got the one-day special for two hours, mm, not so sure. Uh, the reason why everybody is really embracing this one-day special, I think, is highlighted beautifully in this video. Enjoy. We, we have to give a mention to our See, director, Jimmy. That was who, Jimmy uh, there, wasn't it? Yes, the famous Jimmy. Good looking lad. There we go. I like the cheeky little wink there, Jimmy, as well. Uh, OK, so we're going to have a play with our one day special. We are, yeah. So I'm mm -hmm. just going to show you, um, just going to cut it, go through how we put it together. I think okay. that's the most important thing. Uh -huh. There is a video that I filmed. I, do a, I have a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And on there, I actually put a video for all of the complex dyes that I do. Brilliant. Step by step, it's just videoed over my hands. It's not one of those hi and welcome and yeah, just selling things. It's just this is what you do. How do we? How do you find that? Just um, John Next Door. Just type in John Next Door on yep. YouTube or go onto the John Next Door page on Facebook or okay. the Crafting with John Next Door group. Brilliant. They're linked into there. So it's I'm worth uploaded it last joining night. Joining all of those. So yeah. Yeah. There's there's Probably all not. inspiration in there. We always put a big. Um, gallery of inspiration. I say we, Sam does, to be yeah. honest. I don't get involved. And we could have mentioned to Sha uh, Sam. We have. He, he works very hard. He, he does work very hard. Yeah. So I'm using a piece of, of A4 paper. I'm actually mm -hmm. using linen. the um, linen paper that I've got, the linen card Good. we've got on the show. Uh -huh. um, and I will explain why I'm using this sort of textured card. Okay. Um, but what I'm going to do first is, um, if you can see, oh. this is actually the biggest card you'll be able to get from a piece of A4. And I know you would have designed the dies to make sure you get, you're minimizing your waste for your A4 yes. as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I hate waste, it's so bad. Mm. So we just take those down, we're just gonna cut those two pieces, but a little tip I'm gonna give mm -hmm. is, unlike a lot of cards that we make, this is going to be our front. Okay. A lot of times when we're die cutting, it doesn't matter what state our plates are in, yeah. um, and it doesn't matter if they mark them or anything like that, because this is going to be the front, I don't want to mark this, okay. so I'm using a piece of paper okay. on top, then I'm putting my plate on, okay. and that's just to so stop. You don't want to I don't want any of these marks yeah, from okay. my plates, because no matter yeah. how new your machine is, I remember when I got my first machine, I was bought it for Christmas, and my then partner didn't believe that the dies yeah. were supposed to mark the, the plates. Okay. So for the first week until I asked a friend, I was actually using a, um, a cutting mat cut up because I was worried there was something wrong with my machine because it was marking my plates. Because oh. I knew so little about yeah. it then. Um, but I've learned since, in the first cut, you mark mm -hmm. them. But that way, I've got, can you didn't see? You know your first die cutting machine? Didn't you get, you didn't have any dies? No, no that's right. yeah, I, I got my first die cutting machine when I lived in Spain. I got a big yeah. shot starter yeah. kit. Uh -huh. um, and I was bought the card to go with it. Yeah. But no one had actually ever thought at any point to buy me any dies or embossing folders. Okay. So I spent Christmas Just Day looking at it. with a handle turning it, doing nothing, because I couldn't do anything. Oh. And living in Spain, I couldn't get hold of any dies, but thankfully, my next door neighbor, Wendy, lent me some, oh, which is where John Next Door right. came from. Oh, um, so, John, all the time I've known you, I, I never knew that's where John Next Door came yeah, from. Yeah, this became from, I was next door to my friend Wendy, who was a crafter, she had a blog, and on there she used to call me John Next Door. Because oh. she'd go, We've gone, I've been to the craft shop today with John Next Door. Oh. So, yeah, mm -hmm. it's not uh, made up. 
Got to tell you, we're approaching a third of the stock, and I'm so sorry because we have got queues on our phone lines right now. The fastest way to order uh, is on our website, hochanda.com. If you prefer to speak to someone, I promise we'll try and get through to you as soon as possible. But we have got queues, around about two minute queues on our phone lines. Right. So, what you'll see is what I've cut of these two pieces. Yeah. Okay. And what you'll see, you've got two little circle tabs, mm -hmm. one that's covered, and it's got a line which easily finger folds because I have the deboss lines made quite deep. So make your folds to start with, mm -hmm. okay? Fold that piece, and I'm just gonna fold this piece. And what you'll actually see is, when I turn this one over, you can see there, you've actually got a little lip. So you can slide this second piece yeah. into there like that, mm -hmm. yeah? So it locks in place, so you can't get it in the wrong place. And all we do is take a little bit now, what I'm using, I'm using a tape runner. And the reason I'm using a tape runner uh -huh. is because... Sorry, I'm not putting you off your no, trying to get a grab. That's, that's okay, I'm no. behind you. Okay. So, okay. I'm using a tape runner for yeah. speed okay. for the show. Yeah. But if I was making this at home, I would be using my craft artist wet glue. Okay. Or I would be using a red line tape. Yeah. Normal double-sided tape and these okay. tape runners, again, no matter what they tell you, yeah. And genuinely, no matter what we stand here and say, these are brilliant and will last forever, they don't. Okay. Central heating makes them dry and crack and bits fall apart. And it's the last thing you want on a kinetic no, card course, or a yeah. movement card. So do as I say, not as I'm doing, I but do I'm trying to speed it up. Do you know what, John, this is what I, I genuinely love about you, is you are saying how it is as well. Well, I, I don't see the point in yeah. saying, you know, we use one of these, they're great. No, they're not. They work for temporary, yeah. even if they're permanent. Okay. So you see there, I've locked those two pieces together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what I want now, you can see then, that's my front. Mm -hmm. And you can see, it's already starting yeah. to slide a little bit. Okay. But what I need is my first aperture. Right. But where am I going to put that aperture? How do I know? Because I need one through in the back as well, don't yeah, I? Okay. Oh. This is where... Oh, is this where that little angle... Went? This little angle comes in. Oh, okay. Now, when I first sent this through, and the design through to the manufacturers, this came back with a cut line all the way around it. So I had to get onto them and say, no, I want that as a flat piece of metal. And it took three days of emails going back and forth to explain, yes, I know that won't do anything. Yes, I understand it won't cut. No, I don't want it to deboss. No, I don't want any pattern. <laughs> and they couldn't understand what I wanted. Right, okay. And uh, I still, to this day, I don't think they have. But the idea is I can place this yeah. up against that edge uh -huh. and that edge. Yeah, mm. okay. So that's now straight. Mm. I can tape that down onto my board. Mm -hmm. Then I can take one of my shapes. Oh, and you butt it against and it. And butt it against it. Oh, John, that is okay. genius. So number one, it means it's in the right place. Yeah. Number two, when I come to cut the back panel, I exactly. use that Just again and it's it. exactly the same. Now, what I learned off one of my Angels Maxine was certain shapes need to be a little bit higher up. So what we did, you just mark it. Mm -hmm a little bit higher, so if you want it different place, you use yeah. those markers. Uh, okay. So you can put your own marks on for whichever yeah. dies you've got at home. Perfect. Yeah. Hopefully you can see there, that's it. Just you see, see lines, I've yeah. scratched marks okay. in. Okay, yeah. Now, what I need to do is just cut mm -hmm. that now. Okay. Because it's a simple shape, because it's a good die, and because I'm using this, this is actually 250 GSM. Mm. When I made the original, I used 300, so it doesn't matter, but it will cut, that die will cut through two layers. Brilliant. Don't have to worry. Nice. Paper on the top. As we're putting that through, we have had an email in from... Uh, it's from uh, Paul Lane and the Beagles. Paul and Lane and the Beagles, oh, yes. Lane, sorry, yes. Uh, so saying, please, can you say hello to Mr. John for us? Of course we will. Yet again, <laughs> he's cost us money. He does that. Uh, but your designs are so versatile. Oh. And uh, they're more than worth the money. Thank you. That, so that's Paul, lovely. Paul, Lane and the Beagles, thank you so much. And you're also saying you are one of the friendliest and supportive uh, designers out there. Oh, thank you. That's that that is lovely. That really uh, is. This is very important, though, Paul and Lane. Could you please send us a picture of the Beagles? Because I love Beagles. Oh, like... I've got some of their yeah. pictures of their Beagles on the phone. They are so really cute. Like, beagles are really, they're really nice. Are, they're actually yeah. rescued. Oh. They run a group of Beagle Rescue. Uh, they run a group on Facebook for rescued Beagles. Oh, that's and they nice. actually place Beagles that have been rescued from puppy farms and things. Oh, it's, oh, it's wonderful. Yeah, really? they've actually been in the studio. They've have actually they? come in to meet us, yeah. So if you can yeah. see there, what yeah. I've got right. is it's cut it's through cut both through layers. Yeah. No problems. Again, no showing the quality. Okay, yeah. now. So I've got now 
my little slide piece yeah and my back piece yeah but at the moment mm. i can't see anything can i no so i need that die yeah cutting in this panel so now this is where we do our same trick so we do the same trick again exactly the same so i'm going to fold okay. this one just buttered up against the edge so john educate me in the past yeah what would have been the process measuring and do it? How long would it have taken to make I, a similar kind I of I reckon it would have taken a good hour. What? I, I do, because wow. what you're having to do is you're having to measure and cut all of these. You're having to cut separate apertures mm. and mark off where you're putting them. If you think, you'd have to measure how far that distance is from there, how far it is there, and cut it in three pieces of card in exactly yeah. the same place, as well as doing all these folds. And easy to get wrong, too. Oh, yeah. Well, even with this, it's got wrong. I, yeah. we, we filmed the video for this twice, because the <laughs> first time I glued the wrong bit. Oh, well, it happens. Uh, it it happens. happens. So I need to cut that, but obviously I've got a flap there. Uh -huh. So I'm going to fold, fold that back. flap back so and it cut doesn't cut. Yep. And I'm going to put it on there. And what I was going to show you is, mm. I don't want that line there to emboss onto my card. Yeah. yeah. So all I do is put my plate on top that way. Uh, and you see okay. there. Yeah, so I leave that loose okay. and that just makes sure that I don't get that mark. Now, while that's cutting, the next thing you need to do is you need to cut either mm -hmm. the larger panel with the flap a that? second okay. time. Okay. Yeah. It's getting quite good actually at resting itself. It? It's learnt. So it's a Survival second. machine. This is for the back of the card okay. and you cut that off and you cut that off. Now, you can do that mm -hmm. or this measurement is four and a quarter inch by, I think it's five, mm. yeah? And what I tend to do at home is I cut a load of backs using my guillotine so I don't waste that. Ah, OK. But it's there if you want to. If you're not a, a comfortable hand cutter, paper yeah. trimmer, guillotine, you just get some scissors down there or a knife or something oh. like that. Or you can just measure that and do it that way. Because, um, again, I, I hate waste, so... Okay, so now you can see, I can fold that back, it's not marked the front, mm -hmm. yeah, got a little bit of glue residue on there from the tape, so I'll use my glue eraser, Okay. take that off, so now, it's all coming together so quick, I mean okay. literally, how long have we been doing this for, a few minutes? A few minutes if that, all I need to do now is glue the back on, Perfect. then we can decorate, so what I'm going Wait, to we're do, we're done now? Yeah. Oh, John, this is now, good. Now, I'm going to add, you, th you need to think this one through. This is going to slide, so my yeah. back needs to glue here. Right. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of, again, tape down there, uh -huh. yeah, and glue my back on. Right. So that's why we cut the flap. That's why we cut the flaps the back, off. Yeah. There you okay. go. And now... Ba -ba. And obviously when the sentiment's on there, you'll be able to see but that. can you see that this is sliding? Yeah. So the final thing we do is just put a little bit of glue down here mm -hmm. so that those two first pieces are glued together. Nice. Solid. Yep. Yeah. That folds in. And there we go. Oh, you've got a movement card. Do you you've this got... Is a slider card and a hidden message card, or whatever it is you want to talk is, about. Imagine a proposal card like that. Will you Oh, marry what a nice me? idea. Wouldn't that be good? Yeah. And there's loads of things you can do. Yeah. As I said, you could do a, a bigger aperture and have a gift mm -hmm. voucher in there. What about what wedding card you could have his and then hers coming through? Or oh, hers you and could, or Mr. and, and Mrs. Yeah. or the, the, the neighbor dame, or save the date, and when you open it up, there's the date. That's genius. Yeah. Thank, thanks for that, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> I stole that one. So that's your basic. If you yeah. want to cover something off, I'll get ready and we'll show you next we how we stamp do. it and All decorate right, we're it. Did you see how quickly that was to make? Uh, we're going to jump on the uh, website. We'll have a very quick recap and I promise we'll get back. Uh, we are busy at the moment. The fastest way to order is on our website, hachanda.com. But I'll thoroughly suggest having a little explore because we've got eyes inks on there. Fantastic uh, inks. Really, really good. Brand new uh, eyes inks in there. We've got papers. Uh, we've got... Oh, the Crafts 2 toolkit in there as well. Ah, three large, six small. Um, so you're getting the uh, finger daubers in there. So lots and lots to explore. Do have a little look and I say this well worth just having a little stroll and see if something catches your eye. 
Speaking of catching your eye, uh, this one day special, I think, epitomizes why John is so popular. Look, as a guy, he's fantastic. He's just a really down to earth, nice guy, John. And you, you know it, uh, John, what you see is what you get, but he's a crafter. And what John does, like for instance, with this release of the one day special, he wanted to give you, give you the opportunity to make crafting simple. He, he, he fully admits, he said, look, the concept, he hasn't reinvented the wheel here, but what he has done is taken, which would have been traditionally uh, a very time consuming card to make and put his own twist on it and suddenly giving you the tools to make something like this. Beautiful, innovative slider cards coming through. You can go in whichever direction you like, uh, or you don't, you've got the uh, apertures in there as well. So if you don't want to create the slider, you've got sentiments to go in, you can just create your own apertures. You're getting the flowers in the mix as well. Maybe you want to go whimsical. How about this for a hidden slider card? Oh, I like that. Sure, we're having such great ideas from the team. That's always a good sign. You could put a riddle inside. Or what about like a present, you could have a theme, say a balloon ride coming through and like, will you go with me or something? It's that hidden message aspect I think is very, very clever. And you can see all the directions you can go. And I've got to give a mention to uh, the Angels, John's design team, who have done a fantastic job as always. Uh, you're also, now, this is the thing, if I pop this down, here's your slider template or your die. This allows you to create the foundation, the card blank, uh, the structure of your slider card, then you, you can decorate any way you like. So that's your magic, that's your showstopper. But in the mix as well, you are getting 11 flowers here, so you're getting the dies and the corresponding stamps. But this is what makes John so special, the attention to detail, having the little notches, the reference points on the stamp, meaning that you can coordinate and put the die up over it perfectly so it marries up you've got those reference points coming through and finally you're also getting your sentiments in the mix as well and I love the fact John was saying these these are not this isn't uh, something that's been created it's just literally been stamped out so you get to sh see the reference stamps that we've got here so love you then love oh loved you then love you still and always have and always will with love today is your birthday a day just for you enjoy every minute whatever you do wishing a very special person a very special birthday. I mean, these are lovely, lovely sentiments that you can hide in your slider card and reveal them. Love you more today than yesterday, but not as much as tomorrow. May all your dreams and wishes come true. Make a wish. I mean, these are lovely. But the thing is, when you couple those sentiments with the unique aspect of the slider card, that's when the real fun begins because what it allows you to do is take it to that next level, give it some meaning. Imagine giving that to somebody. Okay, right there looks fantastic, but opening it up and giving it more depth, may all your dreams and wishes come true. Isn't that lovely? You can do that. You genuinely can do it. I'll show you one more. I know we've got to get back to John. Now look, using the flowers that you're getting, die cut, bringing those to life, your sentiment coming through. And then this is reverse. This is having, the actual verse at the front and the hidden aspect is happy birthday. It's such a clever concept. There's a reason why uh, we are approaching, it's a little bit scary, 40% of the stock, and this is a stock that's meant to last 24 hours. We're not even halfway through the first hour of the show. Remember, it's gonna be a double uh, launch. Now, you can just buy the dies by themselves as well. No problem at all. If you just wanna go for the die by itself, we're gonna bring up the details. So your slider die, uh, details on your screen, 19.99, your price there, 715-851, your item number. This is the one day special. We're busy for the one day special. We're gonna continue our demonstration, but if you do have any questions whatsoever, we'd love to hear from you. Studio at Hochanda.com, because that's the whole point uh, with Hochanda. This is your show, it's your channel. So uh, do feel free to get in touch. Okay, so we're gonna continue. We've made our base. We have, we've made our base. And I needed some time just to grab my stamp press because I'd okay. left my press to press, I'd left it on the back. As yeah. you can see, lovely and clean left exactly as it was. Pristine. Um, yeah, don't see the point. You know, at the end of the day, life's too short for cleaning things. This is clever, by the way. I, I love these. These yeah. make it so much easier. So what I'm going to do now, mm -hmm. I'm going to have this flat, and I want to put the message in that will be seen 
right. on the front. Okay. So when it's closed, okay? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, and to keep it clean, I'm going to use my layover sheet. Mm -hmm. And there's two reasons for this. This is my favourite thing for sentiments. I have always, always struggled getting sentiments to stamp straight. Yeah. I'm not good. I do really well at wonky. Okay. If you, you, if you look the at a pile sentiment. of cards, if you go through the cards that are on, like the John Next Door Facebook group, yeah. and you see all the samples from me and the angels, you can tell which ones are mine because they're wonky. <laughs> um, I'm terrible at hey, it. Look, you own it though. At least <laughs> you admit oh, yeah, to I'll it. be honest with it. Yeah. This has really helped me because this butts up into here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now, what that means is I've now got a grid line that's straight against the bottom of my card. Yeah. So I can put my stamp on and I can make sure, number one, it's in the aperture, but number two, it's actually straight by less resting the letters, can you see, yeah. over the straight line. Oh, that's very So clever. what I've got then is, they're, they're over the straight line. You can see the red line running between happy and birthday uh -huh. and the bits of happy sit on that. So that when I close it, that stamp is now fixed in position. Brilliant. I can take that off. I haven't marked the card yeah. at all because it's white, so I'm being very be careful. careful Ink my stamp. Now, I am using a new set, and the simple reason is that one of the sentiments in my set I lost. Okay, happens. But to show you, you left it this in a very is special mine. Place. This mm -hmm. is how I keep mine. I'm really bad, okay. but I've lost one of them. Oh, right. So I had to grab one of the sample sets. That's okay. So I may have to stamp this twice, but can you see there? It just mm -hmm. stamps in. Yeah. Well, that's perfect. But it's straight. Yeah. And I'm like, for once it's straight. Yeah. Now, if you do want the template, it comes as part of the tool kit and you can see everything that you are getting there for $9.99. You're getting the Ash the State template, you're getting the paper and you're getting the glue eraser in there that you see John using all the time. Uh, 250213, your item number, $9.99, your price. Works perfectly with the uh, press to impress. Yes. yes, and it will fit in other stamp presses that you may have mm -hmm. as well. So you can trim a bit off or it will fit in the longer ones as well. Because okay. um, I hate to say, you know, oh, it only works for this one. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I need to put in my message for my slide section. Okay. So, so obviously I need to open it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can see that won't butt up properly. So I put it that way. Okay. And so all I do move it now. is move mm -hmm. my stamp press round. Yeah. Yeah. Put my thing on. And then I can again take because it's got lines going both ways, it doesn't mm -hmm. actually matter. Have you found that it's just become a habit now using the uh, yeah. templates? Yeah. In actual fact, I'm on my second pack. Oh, really? And that is unusual for me, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So what I can do then is, now I can see already I've used the smallest hexagon, so I can see straight away this is a little bit too big. Okay. Okay? So I can swap it in and I can go with may all your dreams and wishes come true. Nice. That would f that's why I've given you Three sizes of hexagon, two sizes of circle. To work with all the different To work with all the different yeah. sentiments. But then again, I can put that in, make right. sure that I get it straight. Okay. Close the lid, pick it up, take my paste out, ink and stamp. Okay. Oh, perfect. So it's, it's in the right place and it's straight. We'll yeah. just get rid of those marks with my glue eraser. Yeah. So then when I close it, Done. happy birthday. You see what a when smooth movement May all your dreams and well. wishes come true. As long as you attach it and glue it there. Yeah, kind of hinges. It will hinge and it will slide beautifully yeah. easily. Lovely. So should we do some flowers to go on it? Yeah. Do you know, you could do something fun. Like let's say you have a, a face. Yeah. And it could be anything. So you could have a face and then a different same face but so serious face and then coming through Smiley same face. picture yeah coming through yeah with a different face or if you wanted I like to have that do you know what you could do let's say you're making a bit more of a risque card yeah all right nothing too too bad but it could be say a guy a fireman guy with his, uh, his shirt on and then do it and it could be shut off excellent just saying i like that i think that's a possibilities great i'm not saying everyone's going to be making that type of card yeah <laughs> They could, they could go on your website and clip some pictures off you. Look at my Instagram. Like Instagram, you you're, you're doing that 10-day challenge, aren't oh, yeah. you? 10 photos each yeah. day. So what I'm using here, this is, and I think you'll remember this, this uh -huh. is the flower-making paper. Yeah, oh, yes. So I'm using the flower-making paper, popular. and I think we've got on the show the last stock of it that we have. Perfect. Oh, really? Because perfect yes. for obviously we're getting the flowers in yeah. the one-day special. And it yeah. works perfectly with okay. them. So again, I'm now going to stamp the flowers. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to grab my flower stamp and die. Yeah. And again, this is designed mm -hmm. to be A6. So right. it fits one, two, three, 
for. Yeah. Because if you're paying for decent paper and card, wanna you want to get the most out of yeah. it. And the, the fact I love about this one is that I can get 11 flowers in one A6. That's so we're talking 44 from an A4 sheet. Brilliant. So again, we're going to stamp this time mm. in. And we have got the eye zincs on a show. I can just see John perusing them. I, I'm a big fan of eye zincs. I, I love the eye zinc. Yeah. I really do. You get a beautifully clear, crisp, stamped impression, mm -hmm. but you're also getting a beautiful blend as well yeah. with them. So I'm just going to stamp these, and I made sure I inked these two corners. So can you see there? Oh yeah, and there, that's important. My green corners. Mm -hmm. But can you see all of this? All the, you see all, all the little dots. That's yeah. because that's how I drew it. It's like pointillism. Yeah, they, it, it was drawn entirely with pointillism. And wow. again, I'm not going to sit here and say, and I drew all eleven flowers by hand. No, mm. I drew one petal. Yeah. And then I copied and pasted and repeated it and okay. fitted it round. Still took hours. Yeah. But I'd hate to be sorry. Go, I drew all of no. I drew about. 500 dots, yeah. not 50,000. Fair enough. I'm not, uh, no one can begrudge you that, yeah. John. So what I'm going to do, we'll just stop on this one. Normally what I would do at home is mm -hmm. I would actually move that and stamp another page. Okay. Would you, I I'm mean, as techniques, it. would you ever go and blend more colours on there, so go on with a different colour and go over well, the top? What you can actually do, I'm going to do that when it's finished, okay. but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Yeah. I'm going to move my stamp, we'll show you the difference, because mm. what I can do is pop my stamp down, and really I should have used the um, end piece. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to stamp it again in the green. So this is the verbena, which I love. It's like a proper leaf green that you mm. get in a flower. It's and very natural greens, green. Yeah, greens are really hard. This sort of yellowy green is really mm. difficult to get. Okay. So I'm going to like that. But what you can do, I'm going to go with pink flowers. Mm -hmm. So now where? What can I do? Oh, they're there. Okay. I'm just going to use one of my finger daubers. Mm -hmm. So what you can do, because if you're not comfortable or confident mm. colouring or shading your flowers, do it before you cut. Okay. So what I can do is... Because oh, we're all going to be cutting away, so it doesn't, doesn't matter. I can just go in yeah. and merge over the top this light pink colour to give them a pink thing. Without bothering colouring in the lines, mm. just go over the top of each one. Because, of course, I don't even need to see these flowers to cut them. No, because you've got the reference. Because I've got the reference marks. So we're just going to go in there. There we go. Mm -hmm. And then take the die. Yeah. And just check to make sure it's the right way. There's only one way that will work. And you match up corner to corner. Yeah. When you can see both corners. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's right. So all you need to do to cut these 11 flowers, could you imagine cutting some of these by hand? I'm oh, sorry, life is far too short. Yeah. yeah, and then all I do is run that through my machine. Okay, I just want to show you, so uh, we have got a brand new bundle of eyes. I was trying to hold them all in one hand, it wasn't working. Uh, so there you can see, now you're getting five in total. So we've got a dawn, a honey, a tea, a walnut and licorice. I'm just going to show you there. And then if I just pick up the remaining two that I haven't shown you, if I put those down, and those are your remaining two. So all five of those, and that's a good size yeah. as well. They are, uh, they're five. not your mini yeah. size that you're no. used to in your distress inks, they're yeah. actually bigger. I think yeah. they're oh, is it 25 mil or something like that. They're, they're a sort of a good tuna. Is it? You can see I, that I can't there, so that's actually another size. five. I think that's wrong. They are a good size to you. So here you can see you've got your blues in there, or your over the seas, I should say. There's your... Um, how would you pronounce that? John? So that's your ser that's your wax. Okay. That's your rose. Rosé. That's your verbena uh -huh. or vervain. I don't do French very well these days. And that's your mint. Brilliant. So basically, you're getting. Both. I mean, that's a very natural palette. That's what I wanted to do. A greens sort of and blues. Brights and naturals, and then the sort of yeah. really good shading ones. Okay. But they if you cut can out see beautifully there, we've got with the ones you've mm -hmm. done. You've got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, cut out, coloured, almost shaded. In literally a minute? Yeah, it takes no time. It takes as long as it takes your dye machine to go through almost. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, okay. I'm just going to turn, I'm actually not going to use the larger ones on this one, I'm going to use some of the smaller ones. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to turn over 
five of them. I'm not even going to use the small. I will use the smallest, but I'll use those slightly differently. So this is my foam mat, and this yeah. is my Crafts 2 flower moulding foam mat. I'm using my tool, mm -hmm. and I'm using what I call size three. Okay. So we go from one being the smallest, two, three, and this will be four, five, and six. Okay, so we're using our four. Yeah. Down your nose, or oh. in your hair. Okay, and why do we do that? Get a little bit of wax on it. Okay. When the ball is dry, yeah. you feel it drag against the paper. Oh, okay. So you Just can use a candle, you can yeah. use soap, you can use perga wax. I know Barbara does a lovely little wax that yeah. you can do it that I've got at home. But all I'm doing is pressing around hard mm -hmm. the outside of each petal. Okay. And now I can feel it starting to drag, so add a little bit more oil. So we'll just do these, just going around the edge, and then, where are we, there we go. And then the same. Turn it over and push in the middle. Mm. But because I use the flower making paper, yeah. hopefully you can see, I hold, can you see the shine? Yeah. What happens when you ink it, you bring the gold oh. mica to the surface. So it looks quite plain and white. Your flower paper... Until you actually shape it and then you bring the yeah. mica to the surface. Whenever we bring it, it's always popular. Now, 20% uh, of the stock's already gone. Once that's gone... There is no more. There's no more, okay. No. So, uh, you've been warned? Yeah, we won't be adding any more on extended, I believe. As far as I'm aware, that's everything. The discussion we had earlier... Um, and I was speaking to the mill yesterday and they said okay. we haven't got any more of the gold one Okay. at the moment, right. so, so that's and also our little one flower. thing, Ooh, I actually did a show with you when we had the gold flower paper, it sold out incredibly quickly, so if you have used it before you know why it's so special, we spritzed it, and you know when you spritz it, the colour, like colour that gold, it, that it does gold transform. jumps, doesn't it, it yeah, really, really does. Paper. Okay. So what I can do is, I'm just going to slide a little scrap of mm -hmm. card in, this is where one of my scrap works, yeah? Yeah. And I used the verbena and the rose. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use those two again. I'm going to start with the verbena. Got a bit of a scary figure for you. And I'm just going to shade out. We're approaching half the stock no. of the One Day Special. The burning question is, will the One Day Special <laughs> be here by the end of the next hour. Will it be here by nine o'clock? Because remember, John will be on again at nine till 10. I really don't see how the one day special is gonna be here at nine tomorrow morning. Yeah, right, okay. How oh, cool, I get an early bath. Mm -hmm. Will we be, at, uh, have we asked the question, do we know if there are gonna be any more stops? I, I don't know, to be honest. I believe okay. we put on everything we could. Okay. Because there was an awful lot. We, put, yeah. we now know how it goes and we put, as okay. much as we possibly can on. I'm sure Sam is making a call now saying, is there any more Uncle Peter? But I've got a feeling there isn't, because okay, I'm sure so we put it all on, but again, I yeah. don't know. So I've, all I've done is coloured. Yeah. What I've actually done is, you know, if you want to shade around a shape, mm. I've pretended that this is a stencil and I'm trying to get a perfect hexagon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that means when I take that away, I get that beautiful, soft, faded, shaded oh, look. Oh, that's nice. Instead of trying too hard. Yeah. And then I'm going to, because we use the two colours, yeah. I'm going to now use the pink. And I'm going to try and get a pink hexagon, but I'm going to go further out with it. So diffusing it. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So I'm just going, I'm getting the hexagon, and I'm just w sort of taking the colour off out to the mm -hmm. back. Do you know, both the selection of eye zincs, if you actually go through what you were getting, so with one collection you're getting the licorice, the rose which you're using, uh, you've got yellows, you've got the, like you say, sort of bright, and the other collection is more your pastels, your greens, your blues. Yeah, it's to give you a difference. But I both like to give people really a well selection. Together. There's only 20 colours, yeah. but I like to give people different options of how they can get them because, yeah. you know, it's, you don't want to be crazy. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to go in with the pink, mm -hmm. yeah? I'm going to go in the centre, and I'm just going to circle. Do you like your spotlighting, effectively? Uh, if you, uh, do you want to have a go with the daubers? That spotlight look. I like that. Yeah? Okay. Uh, we're going to bring up the details for the daubers. So you're getting three large and six small finger daubers for 9 dollars uh, 944-440, your item number. And then I've slid my card open, mm -hmm. yeah? And I'm going to do the same with the green. Nice. 
just give me a really soft. So just working with two colours? Yeah, just two colours. So we go from a sort of soft pink yeah. to the green Perfect. as it opens. And you can stamp and add everything else. Mm -hmm. All I'm going to do on this is just simply take the flowers that I've made. I'll use my glue glaze because it's a lot easier and a lot quicker. Mm. And I'm just going to pop little flowers on from the basis. Mm -hmm. Coming down, let's just push them in the middle. And you get an awful lot of dimension. These would fold flat in your envelope. But you get an awful lot of dimension without actually using much at all. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to go through. And going to go up to there. Oh, these are, see, when you start putting everything together, the sentiments, the flowers on top of the fantastic slider template, it really is such a special Well, sometimes we can get a really beautiful, clean and simple card. We don't need lots of fancy die cuts. We need mm. to show a little bit of a change sometimes. Yeah. But just working with, and this is just working with the products that we've got in, in the One Day Special. And I, I do think that's important. That's why I wanted the sentiments in there yeah. so that you've got everything you needed. So there we've got a very simple, lightly coloured happy birthday card. And when we open it, you've got may all your dreams and wishes come true. Okay. We could decorate away. I mean, I've got some demos ready for tomorrow mm -hmm. using some stamps from yeah. the deal of the day, if we get to that bit. Mm -hmm. um, but it's really simple to do. But that's your really simple card. And how quick and easy was that to make? And this just gives you an idea of uh, the tip of the iceberg of what you could be achieving with this fantastic one day special. We are busy for the one day special. If you're wondering why it's so popular, we're approaching half the stock and genuinely, we had a ma massive amount of stock. We really did. I'm, please yeah. believe me, I'm not just saying that. Uh, let's show you some uh, inspirations to get those creative juices bubbling. Such a great one day special. You can really get a sense of that in the video. Uh, big shout out to again, Jimmy. Good job demonstrating. Uh, okay, so look, one day special time. What are we getting in here? Uh, what John has done is taken something that traditionally is time consuming. It involves a lot of measuring. Suddenly, one pass through your die cutting machine, you just construct it and then you've got your foundation. Then you jump straight to the fun bit, which is decorating. But John's giving you all the tools. So this is our slider card, our template. So in there, if I just show you, this is what you are getting. So these two dies form your foundation. That forms the kinetic movement with your slider card. Now this is a very special bit because what it allows you to do, this does not cut, it doesn't emboss, but it allows you to line up all your apertures. So uh, you've got three of the hexagon, you've also got three of the circle, I think we're missing one, but you are getting three of the circle, am I right in saying that, John? Yes, yeah, no, so two of the circles. Two, so, okay, two apologies, circles. so that, that was my bad. Uh, you've got three of the hexagon and two of the circles in there as well. So that's your slider card, but you are getting more in this as well. But let me just focus on the slider card for a moment because there is a reason why it has been so incredibly busy. Have a look at this. So here you can see, very pretty card, right? Make a wish, but then as I open it up, all of a sudden you've got a secret message hidden in so there's that hinge and that movement so what are you going to be popping behind there and we'd love to know if you've got any ideas if something's jumping out at you right now tell us we'd love to hear from you how about here i'm just going to show you a few more of those because i think these are very clever 
So giving you those messages, hiding through. Uh, where, there was one that I showed earlier on that I'd like to show everyone. Yeah, look at this one. I think this is from Leslie. This is very pretty. So isn't that, as a card, fantastic. But when we open it up, there we go. May all your dreams and wishes come true. What a lovely inspiration to give someone. Dip into your stash. Think about your pattern papers. Think about what other dyes, stencils, stamps you have in your collection. So these could be steampunk. They could be very pretty, pretty. You can go grungy, you can go whimsical uh, with these. But not only that, John has given you uh, this, the flowers as well. This is your blossom flower. Brand, brand new, first time John's brought them to you and they got that wonderful pointillism detail. It's like a mosaic uh, in there. Now you're getting the stamps, you're also getting the corresponding die, allowing you to make 11 flowers in each pass. 11 flowers on there but because they're a6 you can cut this four times on a sheet of a4 on there as well so really maximize and this is why the flower is so beautiful i mean have a look at this the the slider die has blown me away but simply just using just cutting out that aperture there and then just using the flowers i think is beautiful or maybe you want to create something like that or how about this? Using the flower and the slider card together. Oh, sorry, it's upside down. Using the flower and the slider card together, and then there you go. Isn't that nice? Imagine that for invitations. We talked about save the date, or if you wanted to put a personal message inside to reveal it there. It is such a fantastic one day special. We are really busy for this one day special. I haven't even told you the fact that you're getting uh, the uh, verses in there, the sentiments too. So uh, you've got lovely grouping of uh, stamps. We are now officially at half the stock in the first 50 minutes of the launch show. Uh, this is going to be a double launch, so please stick around if you can. Uh, we've got another fantastic hour with John uh, coming up after this. So, this is your one day special. You can split the cost in half, courtesy of our flexi payments, 22.98. Your first flexi payment, and then in four weeks time, uh, you pay your remaining 22.98. 22.98 for all of this. You're getting your flower stamps, your flower dies, your slider die. That's what makes this one day special truly unique. And then you're getting your sentiments in the mix as well. It is a fantastic one day special. It's a busy one day special and it deserves to be busy. Paul, Elaine, thank you so much. I've been waiting for this all hour, actually. We've got the picture of the Beagles. There's Dexter. What a cutie. Oh, Dexter. You're going to get a pat on the head. You're very cute. And then we've got Dexter, and we've also got Polly. Polly. Oh, let's see Polly. Oh, Polly's a, she's a snuggler. Oh, you're so cute. Polly, very cute. Thank you so much, guys, for sending those. I'm, I'm, I'm always a sucker for a fur baby. Yeah, they, they are beautiful. They've got so much personality. Yeah. I've seen a few fa pictures on Facebook and things like them looking to say, where's our toast? And they, oh, they're very cute. They're so, and they're both rescues as well. Oh, so they've nice. both been rescued. Uh, now, we've got a few other goodies. Uh, thank you, by the way, Paul and Lane. Uh, so showing this, we haven't got to them yet. So we've got, now this is nice because these work well with the one day special. They do. These are, they're not brand new, but this yep. is there's some foliage that I've done. And I do all my foliage to be sized to match with the actual flowers that I do. So these work perfectly with mm -hmm. um, the blossom because they're yeah. sized exactly. And the idea is the swirl there mm -hmm. is sized to work. And you can see here, it actually fits on the card. Oh, yeah. So it fits on the front, but it's designed to give you the, the spray. Oh, that's nice. So it's designed to give you, with the, because there's two of them, it gives you the right size spray. Uh-huh to go I along mean, it. Good value for money, John. 1528 if you're a Freedom member. Uh, they're saving £4.70, 368165, your item number. And you can see where you can, t I mean, that I is I mean, I phenomenal. love this. This is made with just using the ferns. And this is one of Mrs. Duck's. And thank you so much for coming back to us, Mrs. Duck. Mrs. She Chuck. had to take a, a three month sabbatical. Oh, okay. She was doing some exams and things, but she's made this with the blossom. So this is good all sort of like. You. With the one day special on the ferns. Mr. Duck, yeah. great to have you back. Right, we're going to talk about the eyes inks because we've got two different options here. We've seen them in action. You can see the quality uh, that you get. I mean, for nine ninety nine, and we talked about the fact that the size, they're a good size too. They are. Yeah, we used to do and we have done, and you can get the larger size. Yeah, yeah. But I find these are just so much better value. I use these all the time. You get more of a mixture of palette. You are, yeah. And what they do is they only do 20 colours, so there's no new colours mm -hmm. coming. You know, once you've got them, you've got them. So you've got half you the range them. right there. Yes, yeah, so that's half, this is half the range, yeah. done in one pass. 
but you've got your basics that you'll use, like your licorice, your walnut, your dawn, your honey, and your tea. That's okay. And half the stock has gone, oh, sorry, half, a quarter, I apologize. A quarter of the stock has gone there. 9.99 your price, 9.31464 for your item number. I need to go rush because we're coming towards the end of the yep. hour. And then this one, again, you've got, in here you've got the Ultramar, which is the yep. Ultramarine. Uh -huh. The wax, which is like an orangey yeah. sort of beeswax, I think is what they were yeah. going for in the French. The beautiful rose I was using. The verbena, which to me is, in, you've got to have that. Yeah. And the mint work perfectly. But in the next hour, I'll be nice showing time. you how we can blend those on the flower paper to make some really nice foliage. Something I've done before, and but it really works. Having the two tones of green as well, valuable. You yeah, can, can you well. need for leaves, you need two tones of green. Yeah. You really, really do. A third of the stock has gone here. 9.99 your price, 216, 656 item number. Got to talk to you about the uh, flower paper. Now, over a quarter of the stock's gone. Once it's gone, it's gone. This is very special because if I give that a tilt, you can see there has got the gold, there's a warm gold coming through. But if you lay, if we put some of the eye zinc on there, would it, would that show? Yeah, underneath? what you'll actually do is you'll actually show, let me grab one of show? mine. It's got to be quick, but it's worth seeing. If you just literally okay. just rub it on. Literally, so we just go. There All right, go. so this is what I wanted to show you. The gold now, do you see how the gold comes through? Because seeing it flat here, it's hard to see on the white. But when you lay down some colour, suddenly that it gold... It pulls the mica yeah. to the front. And it's the weight, correct weight at 160 GSM to beautifully mould into flowers. Oh. I, I just love this stuff. Now, you imagine creating your flowers with that. Once it's gone, though, that is it. It is gone. Uh, and we also have these fantastic uh, cardstock in here as well. We will see more of that in the second hour if you can stick around. Look, I apologise because I know there has been some changes at Hochanda. We never want to upset anyone. And when we say this is... A, um, John and I were talking about this. Look, I know yeah. there's been a lot of talk and uh, no one likes change. It had to be done. It genuinely is just one of those things. The decisions had to be made. But if you are going to be losing this right now on Freeview, if you do have access to the internet on Facebook, uh, go onto our website. You can carry on watching. So hopefully we'll see you.